Professor Matthew Maurer at the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired explains how 3D printing is revolutionizing education for visually impaired students. Yeah, we're seeing 3D printing really start to take off in terms of just a material for, for the classroom. Um, and what we're, the, the thrilling thing that I see as, as an educator is that when we put something like this object into a visually impaired child's hands, they have new understanding, but the really cool thing is that everybody gains from this. Not just the visually impaired child, but that child who needs to have something in their hand. That child that um, is, is much more physically oriented, all of a sudden they have new understanding also. And we really see it as, as hitting all areas. In the past, we've done a lot with, with 3D objects in math, particularly a lot of um, manipulatives in math, but now we're seeing a lot more come into the other areas, art, social studies, uh, science, um, even, even a little bit into our um, literature curriculum. We've done some things, let's say, with the Globe Theater connected to, to Shakespeare. So we're seeing 3D printing really move into the entire curriculum and really advancing things, not just for our visually impaired students, but primarily for them, but also for the other students. The building we're in is, a, is, is coming up on 100 years old, and um, when you enter the building, you enter through what we call the tower. The main entrance to the building is, is underneath here, and students who come to school here, a lot of them have never seen this. This is a visually a dominant theme of the, of the campus here. It's the tower, and everybody knows what the tower is, but a lot of the students here have never seen the tower. So uh, Jacob made this model and a kid can say, oh, wow, it's tall and, oh, the door is really small compared to the, the rest of the tower. They can get an idea of what is this object that everybody always talks about that I know about but have never really experienced. So this is a really cool object to have created for the kids. Again, to give them understanding of something that they really hadn't had before. And then here we've got um, a, a map of the campus. And one of the things we know about visually impaired learners is that they're, in terms of moving about in the world, they're often very um, kind of uh, serially direction oriented, meaning I go forward and then I turn left and then I go forward and I turn right. And often they don't have sort of a map idea of where they are. So they may have been in all these, they have been in all these buildings and they kind of know this building and maybe a little bit of what's next to it or near it but uh, much less so in terms of how do the buildings interrelate to one another um, any more than just a serial set of directions of how I get from one place to another. So what this map does for them is say, oh yeah, this is way over here. Oh yes, and these are in between. All of a sudden, again, we have new understanding because we can present this in a map form that a student has probably never really experienced. has not experienced through their own life in a lot of cases. Um, and then has never seen, so all of a sudden they can say, oh, well, this is, where, this is where I live in relation to where I go to school. Okay, that's interesting. So again, giving them understanding that otherwise they didn't have. So with the donations we've recently gotten, the 200 3D printers and then the filament from Polymaker, we're just thrilled about the potential of what can happen. We believe this could be a game changer in what's going on at the school and what the school is doing can be leading the way for the rest of the country. We see great possibility of moving into some real uh, game-changing employment possibilities, workforce development. We're very excited about the possibilities of what we can do in terms of training students in the, ma in the additive manufacturing world. We think this can make a huge difference, particularly for the students at this school, but also for students in other situations, particularly students who maybe aren't college bound. We see real great potential that these guys can um, learn from the materials that we have and the equipment that we have, and then uh, move that into driving a, a career for them. The idea of all this plastic, we got the 3D printers and we're saying, wow, now what are we gonna use to print that with? Polymaker was so generous in donating a thousand pounds of plastic to this project and the polishers to, to clean it up and make final, final products with it. So we're just thrilled about what can happen. We see the potential for a game changer for the blind in terms of employment, which then we believe can 
translate to a game changer for other people in the world. When we started this project, the main thing we started doing is making models for the classroom. And that's an important thing because a lot of uh, blind children see only um, objects in, in two dimensions, usually through raised line drawings. So they'll see a lot of things that way. And one of the big uh, examples of that is submarines. They would see something like this object in, quote, print as a raised line drawing. So they would see this object as a couple of lines coming up and some funny little things at the bottom. And when you put something like this in their hand, all of a sudden they go, oh, oh, I get it. Oh, this is where they go in. Oh, oh, this is what drives it. This is OK. Oh, and that's what we want. We want kids to put things like this in their hands and then get what they weren't getting. All of a sudden, understand something that they weren't understanding. Uh, this is one of my favorite examples, the submarine. We saw some huge gains with kids on this one. Another one of my favorite objects is this uh, Eiffel Tower. Kids, a lot of blind kids have seen reproductions of this in a lot of different ways, but never enough to show them really what all this grid work was. And again, you put this in their hands and they go, oh, that's what they're talking about. Now I understand. And as an educator, that's what we want. We want kids to go, oh, I understand. And that's what these objects have done. And that was really our first step, was to put some of these objects into kids' hands. But that was only the beginning. The next step was to bring kids into this lab and have them start to learn. And we've had some kids that uh, their prospects were maybe not great in terms of employment. And they have come into this lab and learned and had lights turn on for them. And amazing things are happening for a small number of students. And we're just thrilled with that.